Okay, so now let's read how to start a dragon academy. Viking and dragon used to be enemies. Then Hiccup met his dragon, Toothless. They became best friends. Now Viking and dragons live side by side on Berg. Most Viking are happy to share their home with dragons, but sometimes the dragons get into trouble. The dragons scare fish out of the Viking's net. They chase sheep out of their pens and they steal food. Usually the Viking can forgive the dragons, but some Viking are angry when the dragon eats their food. They are trying to store food for the winter freeze that is coming. There is one Viking named Mildew who is very upset. The dragons ate his entire field of cabbage. Stoic, you need to put those dragons in cage, Mildew shout. If you don't, they will eat us out of house and home. They don't mean any harm, Hiccup reply. They are just dragons being dragons. Chief Stoic tell Mildew he will handle the dragons. That night, Hiccup asked Stoic if he can help with the dragons. You, Stoic asks, if anyone can control them, I can, Hiccup says. Stoic decides to give Hiccup a chance. The next day, Hiccup and Toothless go to the village square. Hiccup feels confident that he can get the dragons under control. The dragons are up to their usual tricks. Hiccup watches as a deadly nether sneak up to a house to steal a loaf of bread. Hiccup chases after the nether and places a hand on his nose. No, Hiccup says firmly. The deadly nether listen and drop the bread. But while Hiccup is training one dragon, other dragons make trouble all over the village. Hiccup tries to stop them, but it is no use. It begins to look like he is helping the dragon break things. Hiccup realizes he cannot train the dragons alone. The next day, Hiccup invites his friend and their dragons to the arena. The dragons are out of control, he says. We want them to live in our world without destroying it, but they can't without our help. Hiccup show his friends how to scratch under a dragon's chin to get it drop stolen food. It seems like they are making progress, but when they head into the village to find dragons to train, there are no dragons inside. Suddenly, there is a loud noise. Hiccup and his friends rush toward the noise. When they arrive, they are shocked. The dragons broke into the village storehouse. They ate all the food that the Viking was storing for the freeze. Even Toothless is guilty. Soon, Mildew and other Vikings arrive. They are very angry. You need to send these dragons away, Mildew shout. You are right, Mildew, Chief Stoic says. We will catch them tonight and Hiccup will send them away in the morning. At dinner, Hiccup and his friend are very sad. They don't want to send their dragons away, but Hiccup has an idea. The dragons are going to do what they are going to do. Hiccup tells his friends, it is in their nature. We just have to learn to use it. The next day, Hiccup and his friends decide to work with the dragons, not against them. The dragons scare fish into the viking nets and chase the sheep into their pens. The dragons plants food instead of stealing it. They even help Mildew plant his field. Great job, dragons! The Viking cheers. Chief Stoic is so proud of Hiccup and his friends. He gives them their very own dragon training academy. 
Hiccup is excited. He can't wait to begin. Dragons are powerful, amazing creatures, he says, and I'm going to learn everything about them. That is the end.